Well, as you see now, you can see this vice is uh, fully rotation vice. You have a uh, very smooth handling rotation and you can uh, adjust the rotation with uh, tightening the knob in the back there. Uh, you can tighten so it just rotates slowly and you can also stop the rotation completely with adjusting this knob. Uh, tightening this knob will make the vise not rotate at all. Uh, unscrew it again and the wh why this vise is called the indexer is we, if you turn this indexer knob that will make this vise just click click it has eight positions around the 360 degrees and also you have this bobbin cradle here it's very adjustable you can uh, adjust it up and down and backwards and forwards and every kind of uh, movement you can might find and uh, it's very nice uh, invention there and you can also tilt this vice the head of the vice like this and rotate it like this uh, just have to tilt it back again and you can also rotate the jaws like I show you here it's very nice and you see you have this little handle there that will make the hook stays in totally control and now I'm gonna tell you a little about the jaws of this vice the jaws can take hooks from 80 down to size 22. Uh, you see, you have this uh, these jaws here. You have a place for large hook and smaller hook in the point of it. As I show you here, this is a large gap, and you have this uh, smaller gap on the tip there. And what you can do with this is, you see. I place a large hook now. Uh, I'm not quite sure how big this is. Uh, it's a very nice big bass uh, hook. It, it stays there perfectly. So this is... Uh, and also I can uh, show you a little smaller hook. It will also stay there very perfectly. As you see there. I should have shown you a little more thorough with the jaws but well, that have to do. You see, this jaws is a bit worn out, but uh, I've uh, gotten some news new now, and uh, that will make uh, all the difference. You see now, this is a size 10 hook. It stays there very good, and uh, you see, you have uh, this large. Uh, this vise comes with two jaws. This is a standard one and you have also a midge jaws. As you see now I place the hook in the vise and it stays there very solid because I place a little portion of the bend in the vise. And uh, well there is something else I want to tell you. Here you see you have, can use this alignment tool to make the totally line in rotation. Way to do that is you take this alignment tool, you see how it looks, and you push it into the vise, and use this knob here, and you make adjust to align the hook perfectly to this needle, and just unscrew it so we can rotate, and uh, also you see now when I just unscrew this. You see now the perfectly line of rotation it, this vice, sorry, this vice makes. Very, very nice. Now I'm going to show you how to attach a hook to this vice uh, very thoroughly. You see now, as I lift this lever here, the handle, you will see the jaws closing. 
make sure of this watch this little uh, groove there I take a little hook place it in the vise you see and you lift on this handle and you hear a little click and the hook is perfectly now attached in the jaws of the vise you loosen it and you see lift click when you don't have some tension on it you like make the handle hang directly down you see now I'm gonna show you how to adjust for other kinds of hooks you have to screw this tip there up and down you see if you screw it this way you will open it and you screw it down you will close it you have to adjust it a little bit fiddly but it goes very good it's very good and now I'm gonna show you how to change the jaws of the device very simple you see now I take out this the jaws put it down put on the cap again and uh, be sure not to get too much grease on your fingers like that well that's how easy it is to change the jaws on this vise uh, this jaws is a bit worn out I'm getting a new one in the mail soon uh, it works okay for now but uh, it's be good to have a nice one a new one to place it replace this well uh, I'm soon finished now with this video, but I'm gonna sh uh, tell you a little about the base. Uh, as you see, you have two grooves in this base for hooks and beads. It could have been more heavy, but uh, it works okay. And uh, you can also adjust the height of the vise by unscrew this uh, screw there, and you can lift it like that. If you want it more high up, some fly tires uh, like that. Well, if you're gonna buy this vise, uh, it's a bit pricey. It costs about uh, six hundred dollars in the shop here in Norway. But uh, you have to be sure what you want, and uh, if you buy this vise, you will have a vise that uh, stays with you for the rest of your life. It's a very solid vise, uh, it will not break on you and you got all you need with this vise. Uh, it will fit all your needs uh, if you like it, of course. Uh, I will uh, thank you all for watching my videos and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have uh, 310 videos out now, uh, all from uh, product reviews, fishing films, fly tying so uh, be sure to comment to this video um, I'll be very glad to have some feedback and thank you all for this uh, watching and this video and thank you all and bye bye tight lines mm -hmm.